Hi, I'm Orlando Martos, Equipment Manager at the Creative Media Institute at New Mexico State University. What I'm going to be showing you today is how to properly wrap cables. In the world of film, it's a highly debated topic on which way is the right way to properly wrap your cables. Some people say you have to wrap all your cables over over. Some people say you have to wrap them over under. Now, for us here at CMI, we wrap all of our electrical cables or stingers over over and all of our video or audio cables over under. Now, the reason that we do it like this differently is because that's the way that those cables were originally wrapped when we got them and we want to preserve that internal coil. For instance, with a microphone cable, which would be an audio cable, we want to wrap this over under. The way that I like to do it is to hold the end of the cable in my left hand, then in my right hand, measuring the distance, probably about uh, two feet. And you're going to first rotate the cable inside of your fingers backwards. And as you start to rotate it, you're gonna see that the cable is gonna automatically find its curve. Connect your two hands together and about the, sh the size of a basketball. Pull out to the same length again, but this time, instead of rolling your fingers backwards, you're gonna roll them forwards. And the cable's going to find its natural curve, then connect your hands. Repeating the process down the entire length of the cable. It's very, very important, especially for audio and video cables, that you do it the same way every time. Because if you ever have to bend the cable against the curve, you're going to damage it permanently, which will result in signal loss, static, or overall just the cable not working. And make sure that you use the Velcro strap at the end to tightly wrap it up. For electrical cables, like those found on stingers or at the end of light heads, we do those over over. So again, holding it in my left hand, pull out about the length of a basketball and roll my fingers back so that it finds a natural curve. For stingers, it's always useful to have the cable stretched out before you start wrapping it so that it's not getting tangled on the other end as you start wrapping. And there you go. So I've just shown you how to wrap the two different kinds of cables, whether it be a power or electrical cable or an audio visual cable. So remember, we wrap our electrical or power cables over over and our audio video cables over under. It's important that we continue to do them this way to preserve the longevity of each of these kinds of cables. Again, I'm Orlando Martos. We'll see you for the next training video.